Hey guys, welcome back to Unboxing a Brand. This is Shirley. Today we're going to be unboxing the fall 2019 box of style box. So it comes in this like just regular brown box. It actually, it looks like it's been sitting outside my doorstep for a few days. We just got back from a trip overseas and it looks like it actually got a little bit wet. So I think everything is okay on the inside, but let's dive in and see all the items that I got. Box of style is a quarterly subscription box and they call it a luxe subscription box because of the price tag and also the brands that you get inside. The regular price for a seasonal box of style box is actually a hundred dollars that is a lot of money this is the third box that i've purchased from them and they always have some sort of coupon code or deal going out so every season i tend to cancel because i don't want to spend a hundred dollars on a box and and then spoiler alerts come out and they come out with coupon codes for 25 dollars off and I'm a sucker and a gopher every time. So I received a $25 discount on this box. And if I can find the code, I'll make sure to leave it below so that you guys can check it out as well. But um, it seems like every season, the boxes always go on sale for $25 off. So never buy at full face value. <laughs> That's what I can tell you. Okay, ooh, so pretty. As usual, box of style boxes come in this really luxurious reusable box and th they tend to change up the color every season. So this is what the box looks like. Let's take a look inside. There's always like a magnetic closure. That's how fancy it is. Ooh, it always says hello gorgeous on the inside. Hashtag box of style. Okay, so here's Rachel Zoe and that's her box. Almost feels like it's rubber, but it's not. It's like some sort of paper, but she looks fabulous. Let's dig into the contents of the box. This is everything that's going to come in this box. Ooh, okay, so I saw the spoiler and this bag pretty much made me want to order this box because I, um, I'm in need of a small clutch size bag. This is actually a shoulder bag and I thought the color was really nice for fall. Is this leather or is this fake leather? It just kind of feels like fake leather. It's probably made in China. Yes, I see a sign that says made in China. Okay, I'm actually very disappointed in this. I'm just like looking at the details, looking at the hardware here, and these clasps look really cheap. You can already tell that this one, I don't know if it's rusting or what. There's like spots on it, and this hardware here also doesn't look like it's very high quality. Well, that's disappointing. What did she say about this bag? Okay, well, there's a note from Rachel Zone. It says, I love a leather crossbody bag for fall, and this rich caramel color looks great with everything from late summer dresses to false chunky knits and jackets. And this is how you can style it. It looks really cute, but like when you touch it, it just doesn't really feel like it's really good quality leather, or maybe the straps are not leather. I don't know, I can't tell. Hardware on the strap is already getting a little bit scratched up. Hmm, all right, this might very well be my last box of style. Well, it is what it is. It's a decent size. It fits probably like a wallet and a phone and keys, but not much else. Um, there is a smaller zipper on the inside for things that you want to keep on the inside pocket. By JJ Winters, it's called Ivy Leather Crossbody Bag, and it retails for $148. Next item we have um, is by, oh, this is the necklace. So chunky necklaces, chunky gold necklaces are really in for the season. and. I was a little bit torn on this because it kind of looks like something ladies from the Jersey Shore will wear, but I don't know. You let me know whether or not I can pull it off. But this is, um, oh, this is kind of cheap as well. Like it's just kind of, it's a little light and it doesn't look as substantial as it does in the photos. Not very happy with this box so far. I don't know how I feel about this necklace. Tucking with my cable here. I'll just wear it for the rest of this filming and see how I feel. But I mean, apparently the style is in. Ah, I'm really disappointed. Like you can just like, the way that the metal clinks, like it's just not very high quality. $245, yeah, right. Oh my gosh. They say that this necklace is worth $245. No way. This is probably worth like $20 to be honest, but $245, no, no. The statement necklace can completely change the look. Use this version to dress up your favorite little black dress or add polish to jeans and a tee. I guarantee you'll get lots of compliments. All right, well, this is the $245 necklace. Next item. Oh, I, I was really excited about this as well. This is by Rachel Miriam. And this is like a little leather wallet clutch kind of thing. This is nice. So this is like in a wine red color. It says it's genuine leather on the inside. And you basically put your like business cards in here or your 
subway cards or train tickets or not, I plan on using this for my train tickets. So, well, at least this feels like it's nice quality. Okay, so this is the on-the-go organizer. This leather card case retails for $50. This is nice. This is probably my favorite item so far in this box. Bordeaux is my absolute favorite color, and this croc embossed leather card case is perfect for downsizing your everyday wallet for evening. <laughs> I'm just reading a quote here from Rachel, so I'm sorry. Um, I'm feeling a little tired. We just got back from our trip. I feel a little bit jet lagged and um, ooh. So yeah, the hardware on this, like this gold, is like a super fake looking gold. It's like definitely a painted gold. Eh, definitely canceling this box. All right, well, there's the card holder thing. Uh, next up is something by Shani Darden. And this is a texture reform, I think this is a face, oh, it's a serum. The Skin Savior. Even sensitive skin types can use this gentle retinol serum. It encourages cell turnover, softens lines, and reduces signs of sun damage, which is uh, especially important after the long summer months. So skincare tip, let's just open it up. I don't know if I'm gonna be opening it because I've been getting a lot of beauty stuff lately. And once you open it, you kind of start the countdown clock for shelf life. Um, on most cosmetic items, there is this like little symbol here. The symbols kind of tell you how long the items will stay good for on shelf once you open it. So I don't wanna open it really, at, at least not right now. Bottle feels very heavy. It's like a glass. Yeah, it's like a glass bottle. The Texture Reform Gentle Resurfacing Serum costs $95 retail. And final item in the box is a lip gloss by Marc Jacobs. This is a high shine gloss lip lacquer. And I think this is the one where you get to choose your colors. Oh, actually, no. One of them is a high shine lip gloss lip lacquer and the other one is a hydrating lip gloss stick. So it looks like I got the, uh, the lip gloss version. The retail price for this is 28. That sounds pretty reasonable. When you go to Sephora or whatnot, you can see the retail price for these. And this is a pretty cool color. It's not too bright. It's a very neutral color, something I would definitely use. I'm um, so excited to try this. It's like a pinkish, purplish color. So a quick recap, we got this leather crossbody bag. We got this necklace here. We got a card case holder, a facial serum, as well as a Marc Jacobs lip gloss. So everything um, was $75. I think they charge a little bit for tax, but shipping was included. I try not to be too judgmental. Somebody left a comment on one of my videos saying that I was too judgmental. Um, but I just try to be honest, you know, like I don't want to say that I love something when it's, the quality is just not there. So I don't know, that's just me. If I don't like something, I'm not going to tell you that I like it on camera. If I like something, I'm going to tell you that I like it. So I'm sorry if I come across as judgmental. Anywho, um, that was unboxing the Fall 2019 Box of Style box. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to my channel. While you're here, check out some of my other videos as well. I'm also on Instagram and Facebook, so be sure to follow me there too. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.